a lot of us have pretty challenging times that happen to us in our lives and we'll find our way through it. But how much do we allow it to teach us and sometimes even shift the course of our lives? My guest today is Mike Damish and Michael does, he runs a, a company called the Date Safe Project and his book and his program is called uh, Can I Kiss You? And it is about creating communication in relationships so that it is consensual, which is, which is a massive thing. And when that speaker was speaking, it really hit me. It hit me. I'm like, oh my gosh, um, I am part of this culture that, that leads to this happening. I'm not saying that led to what happened to my sister, but leads to this idea of assumption and arrogance just by being part of the society and not speaking up, I'm part of it. I need to do something. And as I sat there and listened to him speak, I'm like, I want to use my voice. I want to do something. And so when I went up to him and said, I want to learn from you, I want to do this. He said, well, okay, well, you're fortunate. I only live an hour away. And I'm like, all right, well, I showed up at his doorstep. And that's when it all made the difference. Because he said, Mike, people say all the time, I want to do this, but they never follow up. You showed up. Like, so he just loaded with me with information. And I started writing this speech for myself, somewhat based on what he had taught me, somewhat based on this other information he gave me and my own insights. And I started speaking out. And I went to that classroom with that teacher that trusted me, Judy Farrell. Uh, I'm still friends with her to this day because you know, we stay in touch. She's a huge supporter of the work that we do. And when I got done in her classroom, she looked at me in the eyes and said, Mike, you should be doing this in schools all over. The light bulb went off. The light bulb went, wait a second. This doesn't, doesn't have to be something I um, can only do maybe once in a classroom or something that I get to do every now and then. Maybe this is a mission I can follow. This is a journey I can follow. And so I took that business degree in entrepreneurship and made it about building a speaking business on this topic. If I'm walking out on stage, is it about me being right, right in this next hour? or is about me opening the possibilities for my audience. That's mindfulness. When somebody says something inappropriate in the crowd, instead of just shutting them down, will I engage them? Am I mindful of what I'm creating in that room in that moment? Am I moving forward with love or with power and authority? I have made the mistake of moving forward with power and authority. That's not the choice I wanna make. I wanna make the one of leading with love. So, and the other thing is, it's an ongoing process. I think one of the, the silly things people think is that once I'm mindful, Everything just happens easy. No, I still have the same arrogance inside me. I still have the same stubbornness inside me. I still have the ability to be self-righteous at times. All of that is me as a human being. Mindfulness allows me to be alert to those aspects of myself and, and the loving aspect of myself, the giving aspect of myself, the fun, and to be aware which one am I projecting right now. 